This lady has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with a problem of HIV AIDS positive 1 and 2. She has had this problem for the past nine years. This is her medical report from the Esud Teaching Hospital, signed and stamped by the doctor, confirming that she has been tested to be positive to HIV AIDS 1 and 2. As she rises up to her feet, it is very clear that Mrs. Ezekwesiri Betty is heavily pregnant. Jesus Christ said, Come to me, all you who are weak and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. She has come to the synagogue church of all nations, believing that Jesus Christ, the greatest healer, will heal her from the problem of HIV AIDS positive 1 and 2. My name is Ezekiel Sribeti. I'm from Imbo State. I have HIV AIDS positive 1 and 2 for 9 years now. I used to have headaches, fever, sometimes diarrhea. What is the cause of this problem? Fornication and adultery. Okay, now that you're here today, what do you believe God will do for you? I believe that God will heal me today. Amen. We believe with you that God Almighty will heal you for the salvation of your soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Madam, we can see a brother sitting next to you. Could you please tell us his name and who is it to you? His name is Philip. He's my brother-in-law. My name is Philip Chikwem. She's my sister-in-law. She has HIV AIDS positive one and two when you found out that she has this problem how did you feel i felt bad and sad because it's a de deadly disease i believe god will heal her prophet tv joshua prays for the long row of people who are positive to hiv aids in jesus name among them is mrs ezekwe siri betty So, madam, you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Jesus' name. We know you're here representing the thousands have received uh, this same miracle of healing from HIV AIDS in the name of Jesus Christ. So we want to appreciate you and first of all ask you your name and where you've come from. Good morning, church. My name is Betty Ezekwesri. I'm from Imo State, but reside in River State. The person next to me is my husband and this is my son. Emmanuel, the baby he's carrying is the one I named TB Joshua, Tobechuku Bright Joshua. So you're welcome in Jesus' name. We saw on the video how you received your miracle in the name of Jesus from this deadly disease of HIV AIDS, positive one and two. Can you just tell us how did this come into your life and how did this affect you before? Praise the Lord. I had this uh, sickness of HIV AIDS as a result of the sin of fornication and adultery. Suddenly, I started feeling sick of fever, loss of appetite, running stomach, and all that. I was very sick. I suffered with this sickness for nine years. So I went to the hospital, a suit, a new good teaching hospital, to be tested. When I got there, I met the doctor and he sent me for laboratory tests. When they tested me, they confirmed I had HIV type one and two positive. I was so afraid and sad. I was like, ah, am I going to die? What will I do? You know, I condemned myself because of this sickness. As God may have it, I met my husband who has this Emmanuel TV. Although I explained to him about my status, he told me that I shouldn't be afraid that as far as he, the God he believes is concerned, that looking at me, I don't have any sickness. So he on the Emmanuel TV because he used to glue to Emmanuel TV often and on. So he said I should keep watching this. And when I started watching it, my faith grew and I knew I'm not going to die again. We want to learn more from you. Can you tell us during uh, these many years you were suffering from HIV AIDS positive one and two, what were the symptoms you were experiencing? How did this make you feel? I used to feel feverish, loss of appetite. I used to feel sad, very weak. For nine years, I've been with this sickness, suffering of HIV AIDS, positive one and two. So I used to be so sad. I used to be so weak. 
So when I finally came to Synagogue Church of All Nations, I was privileged to be arranged at the prayer line. That was my first happiness, to enter the prayer line. So when the man of God came out, he was praying from a distance. You know, I lost concentration. I was looking at the screen. I never knew that he was very close to me. Before I knew it again, he has passed me again. I was like, ah, ah. I, he did not even touch me, and I'm pregnant. He did not even touch my head, let alone my tummy. What about my baby in the womb? I was very, very uh, sad. I said, ah, the man of God did not touch me. How come will this sickness leave me at all? So, and I remembered of a testimony of one brother that came here of uh, diabetes. So the man of God prayed for him at a distance. Also, the, according to the man, he said that he was also sad. But God still healed him. I said, with that, I believe that God will still do it. So I left, but as the man of God passed me, I felt some kind of shock pass through my tummy. I felt calmness. All those feverish conditions left me. I said, okay, let me see what is happening. All the counseling that he gave me, I followed everything according to what the man of God said I should follow. I believed God, and my husband, with the grace of God, helped me as well. I followed all the rules, and to the glory of God, today, I have been healed of HIV from positive, I'm now negative. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Madam, we really want to hear from you. You said that as the man of God prayed for you, you felt like an electric shock went through your body. And afterwards, you went back home and you followed all the counseling to live by the standard of the word of God that was given to you. And you believe that you received your healing. Can you tell us, how long was it afterwards that you actually went to the doctor and they tested you again? Okay, I stayed for up to six months before I went to the hospital and the doctor confirmed I'm now negative of HIV AIDS. When I get there, the doctor was like surprised. Ah, madam, you came here. Last time, you've been coming steady. Ah, but you have been positive. But now, how come you got the negative? I told him, nah, I'm going to Synagogue Church of All Nations. And the man of God stretched his hand, only stretching of his hand. So, and today, just test me and confirm if God is working. And then he told me, congratulations, madam. You've been tested negative to the glory of God. Glory be to God. And we can see the medical reports beside you on the board. Can you just indicate for us this wonderful miracle? This one here is the one that the doctor confirmed that I have HIV. is type 1 and 2. And this one is the one indicating now that I've been tested negative to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. So we can clearly see on the medical reports here. On the first medical report, she was tested and confirmed to be positive to, be, to HIV AIDS type one and two. And after her healing, after receiving prayer from Prophet TB Joshua in Jesus' name, she went back to the same government hospital and we can see that she was tested and confirmed to be negative to HIV AIDS. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Madam, we want to hear from your husband. Before we ask you your own advice, we want to hear from your husband. We know that he also has a lot to thank God for. So, sir, you're welcome in Jesus' name. Please tell us your name and where you come from. Children of God, Emmanuel. Children of God, Emmanuel. I thank Almighty God who has given me the privilege to stand in this holy ground. My name is Sergeant Chikwem Ezekwesri Obinna. I'm a police officer by profession. The woman beside me is my wife, Betty Ezekwesri. This is his Emmanuel, and this is Joshua. Praise the Lord. Uh, the testimony that my wife have gave is not for her, but probably the testimony is for me. Children of God, Emmanuel. The testimony goes like this. The first day I met my wife, I told her that I want to marry her. She told me that this is what is her problem. I said, what's your problem? She said, I'm HIV positive. I told her that as far as God is concerned, and he's the one that have led me 
to got married to you that I am not going to contact it. My children, which you are going to give birth, will not contact it. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I'm so happy that when my wife came here and met Papa, I call him Papa because I love him so much. I call him Papa Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua because I love him so much. He's a man I cherish and a man I love since I started watching Emmanuel TV since seven years ago. And when my wife complained this to me, I told her that there's a place I would like you to go, Senegal Church of All Nations. That's a place I know that you will receive your healing. She started watching Emmanuel TV and became loved with Emmanuel TV. And one day, I asked her to come down to this place. When she now came down here, well, she was privileged to be arranged at the prayer line. And I was in the house when she called me on phone that, honey, that the man of God is about to pray for me. Watch the telly. I said, no, I'm standing there. I'm watching you. It was just surprised to me. The man of God was in a far place. He did not even touch her. She just do her like this. I, I was surprised. I said, no, no, no. I said, okay. After she now came back to the house, I and her, we abide to the rules that the man of God gave to us. And the healing night came faster. And thank God that we are here today to testify the glory of God in our life today. Emmanuel. You mean after your wife's healing, the man of God instructed and encouraged both you and your wife to live uh, by the standard and rule of God's word. I encourage her to live by the standard of the word of God. And she got her healing. She went to the hospital at Esut and the doctor now arranged her for laboratory tests. And glory be to God that the thing came out negative. And she's now negative from HIVS. Glory be to God. So we'd like to hear from your wife once again. Madam, we saw in the video where you received your healing that you were actually pregnant at that time. Can you tell us, uh, is this the child that you were pregnant for? Yes. This is the baby I was pregnant of. So he's very sound. He's okay. He's healthy. He's not HIV positive. I gave birth freely. In fact, I even gave birth in the car. The, the level was just free. I gave birth in the car. The, there was no problem after the prayer of the man of God. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. When Jesus heals, he heals effectually. He heals completely. So, madam, we want to learn from you. All over the world, people want to hear your advice. You've been healed from a disease which in this world, physically, there's no cure. But what's impossible for man is possible for God. Can you advise people all over the world? Viewers all over the world, especially those that is passing through the same sickness I had before, I want to advise you, do not condemn yourself when God has not condemned you. Some things happen to us so that we can draw close to God. I urge you to draw close to God. Don't run away from God this time. Run to God and believe. As you are listening to my testi testimony now, that means you are connected rightly. With this testimony, I believe that God, wherever you are watching me, you will be healed in Jesus' name. And I also advise, please, run away from adultery or fornication. That, because that leads to this kind of sickness of HIV and AIDS. I believe that as you do that, the Lord will keep you safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we thank God for your life and for your testimony. And we want to encourage you, now you've been healed by Christ's word. You should be ruled by that word to make this testimony a lasting one in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Click on the link below to visit my blog where you will learn more about TB Joshua, listen to countless testimonies, and get clear step-by-step -step instructions on how to visit Skoans to get your free and permanent healing with just a touch. And if you don't have the means to visit Skoans, 
Don't worry I will tell you what to do to get your healing in your home. This is free support, I need nothing from you in return. I am just helping. You have nothing to lose, just give it a try and you will be amazed as I was. Let me know if you need any help. I am waiting for your testimony. Please subscribe and visit my channel to watch many amazing healings that will blow your mind, give you hope and prepare you for your own healing.